one is that I don't have the same coefficients. Remember when I talked about when you have the same coefficients that have the same sign, you just subtract the two equations. When you have the same coefficients that have opposite signs, you just add the two equations. But in this case, I don't have either my coefficients x or my coefficients y have the same coefficients. Now, there is one thing I do want to make sure um, that when we're doing this, we want to make sure that our x's and our y's are aligned, which in this case they are. So therefore, I can verify that, OK, yes, the x's, this has, an, this has a coefficient of 4, that has a coefficient of 2. This has a coefficient of 3, that has a coefficient of negative 5. They're not the same. So to apply the elimination method to add or subtract, I have to get them to be the same. So what I'm going to need to do is I want to determine what is going to be the smallest um, common multiple of my coefficients. So what is the smallest common number that 4 and 2 share? Two, two. One. Multiples, guys, not uh, factors. Four. Four. Multiples, yes, 4. So to get to multiply these to both to get 4, I don't have to do anything to this one. And I simply can just multiply this by to get 2, right? Whereas if you look at 3 and 5, yeah, you could get 3 and fi negative 5 to be the same. But you'd have to multiply this by 5 and that by 3 because their common multiple is 15. This one is much easier. So to get them to have the same common multiple, I'm going to multiply by, sorry, it's a horrible marker. I'm going to multiply by, <laughs> multiply by 2. Now, again, Notice using the parentheses. And the next thing I'm going to tell you guys is I showed you guys both methods, adding the, two adding the two equations as well as subtracting the two equations. Who did people, what do people have more difficulty with, adding or subtracting? Subtracting, subtracting right? So if you are OK with the subtracting, then go ahead and get them to be the same sign and subtract. However, if you're probably like most students, you don't like subtracting or subtracting gets confusing. So what I would do is, remember, subtraction happened when you had the same denominator but one or same coefficient. One was positive, one was negative. So what I would do is I would make one of these positive, one of these negatives. So you have to multiply by a number, multiply by a negative number. Because now what we obtain is 4x plus 3y equals 15, which is the top equation unchanged. And now my bottom equation is negative 4x. Um, positive 10y equals negative 2. Does everybody see that? See what I did? You didn't have to multiply by negative 2. You could have multiplied by positive 2. But if you multiply by positive 2, then you would have to subtract the two equations. Now, I have the coefficients for x are positive and one's negative. So I can just add the two equations. Here I get 0x, 13y equals 13. So 13y equals 13. Divide by 13. Divide by 13. y equals 1. Now, yes? How does that equal 13? What? Which one? Where? That equals 13? OK, it's OK. So just let me know if you have any questions. So now, once I know that y equals 1, the common again question is, well, where do I, how do I find x? Do I plug x into this equation, that equation, this equation, that equation? And again, we can just take y. I always like to plug it into my top um, equation. And I just take 4x plus 3. Instead of times y, I'll multiply by 1 equals 15. 4x plus 3 equals 15. Subtract 3, subtract 3. 4x equals 12. Do we have to do subtraction and adding? Nope. Now, by applying this, I get my system is, or my x value is 3, and my y value is 1. No, you only need to do one method.